Amen. While standing like that, we'd like to read the scriptures together. Kwa tumesimama hivyo tutasoma maandiko kwa pamoja. The holy word of God. Neno takatifu la Mungu. And we are looking at the New King James. Na tutakuwa tunaangalia New King James. We are reading 2 Corinthians. Tutasoma wa Korintho wa 2, chapter number 8. Pale 8. We are looking at verse 1 to 24. Tutaanzia 1 hadi 24. Tell your neighbor long one. Ambia jirani yako ni ndefu. But the verse that we'll be concentrating on will be verse number 8. Lakini andiko tutakalokuwekea mkazo ni 28. But we need to read the whole of it. Lakini tutahitaji tuisome yote so that we can pick what is going on. Ili kwamba tujue ni nini inaendelea. So if the guys can give us uh, the New King James. Kama tunaweza patiwa ile ya New King James. We can all read together. Tutasoma kwa pamoja. What I'm going to do I'll read all the odd numbers. And you read all the even numbers. Aha, atasoma zile tunaita odd kama moja, tatu na sisi tutasoma even, yani mbili na nne. Amen. Amen. Uh, encourage your neighbor, mwambie leo tutasoma. Tutasoma. Moreover brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. Yo yo, hiyo ndio yenu hiyo, even. Haya that in a great trial of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality na ukisoma unasoma kama uko na imani nipe moyo ili niweze kuhubiri tafadhali eh unipe moyo for i bear witness that according to their ability yes and beyond their ability they were freely willing imploring us with much urgency that we would receive the gift and the fellowship of the ministry of the saints and not only as we had hoped but they first gave themselves to the lord and then to us by the will of god so we urged titus that as he had begun so he would also complete this grace in you as well but as you abound in everything in faith in speech in knowledge in all diligence and in your love for us see that you are bound in this grace also i speak not by commandment but i'm testing the sincerity of your love by the diligence of others today verse number 9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich And in this I give advice it is to your advantage not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do a year ago but now you also must complete the doing of it that as there was a readiness to desire it So there also be a completion out of what you have. For if there is a fast willing mind it is accepted according to what one has and not according to one he has done. For I do not mean that others should be eased and you burdened. But by an equality that now at this time your abundance may supply their lack that their abundance also may supply your lack that there may be equality as it is written he who gathered much had nothing left over and he who gathered little had no lack but thanks be to god who puts the same earnest care for you into the heart of titus for he not only accepted the exhortation but being more diligent he went to you of his own accord and we have sent with him the brother who praises in the gospel throughout all the churches and not only that but he, who was also chosen by the churches to travel with us with this gift which is administered by us to the glory of the lord himself and to show you you are ready mind avoiding this that anyone should blame us in this lavish gift which is administered by us providing honorable things not only in the sight of the lord but also in the sight of men and we have sent with them our brother whom we have often proved diligent in many things 
but now much more diligent because of the great confidence which we have in you. If anyone inquires about Titus, he is my partner and fellow worker concerning you. Or if our brethren are inquired about, they are messengers of the churches, the glory of Christ. Therefore, show to them and before the churches the proof of your love and of our boasting on your behalf. That verse 24. Si tuisome yote pamoja na uisome na kaguvu kidogo. Therefore, show to them and, and before the, the churches the proof of your love and of our boasting on our behalf. Heavenly Father, that is the word of the Lord. We pray that you would speak to us in a language we can understand. Encourage us. Speak to us. In Jesus' name. Let's get seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's appreciate the choir. The worship team, thank you so much. If you noted today the, all the songs they sang, they are talking about the ability of our God. The awesome of our God. Exhorting him that there is nothing that is hard with him. And I thought as I sang, they were telling me. So that I can believe that God. Who is able to do exceedingly above that which I might even have an idea about in my thought patterns. But do it beyond to the praise and to the glory of his dear name. Next Sunday, we are all meeting at Shiloh. And we are on a serious business. Tell your neighbor serious business. And we have been planning just like this church was exhorted to. No wonder it ends up by saying, prove it then. The love that you have and our boasting on your behalf. You know sometimes when you... When, when something is done, you, you get so excited. Can I tell you one of the things that excited me? I've tried, I've tried to borrow money in the bank. Just like you. They normally take too long before they give you a loan. They want to check your history whether you have been arrested. Now for me, I've been arrested. So the question is, what are you doing? They will ask. On that police station, what are you doing? Uh, but I thank God that when I go to God, he doesn't ask me because all was paid for. I am free indeed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So the church, we have been looking for money. We wanted to borrow some money. Because there are some two new buses that are landing. Tell your neighbor watoto wetu wata sukumo kwa magari hapa kama hakuna hiyo. We are buying two buses. But can I tell you the truth? There was no money. But we wanted two buses. And I told the LCC. I told the school board. And then I'm wondering. Let's buy two of them. Then we try to borrow money. We filled in a document, a document, application form. They responded and I did not like their response. So, so I said, I told the person, where God to? Mungu atakuja. God will come. I want to give this testimony. Why I want to give it is because God is here the money. There is no demonstration. Hata basi azijapandishwa fair. Ziko tu hata mkate ujapanda. It is still the way it was. So I was having a conversation with a friend. Tell your neighbor honor them. 
mheshimu during our declaration i say tulikuwa tunatangaza and we declared we will not Aha. take off for granted people watu, opportunities nafasi, and situations na hali. we declared that Tukatangaza. but it is after i had gotten a miracle and i knew you cannot take for granted anybody the guy next to you once i come up below 40 mm. Mm. below 40 mheshimu bwana if you are like our age moses sasa wewe unaweza tuombea si tunabeba baraka lakini kuajiriwa hata ukiwa na qualification moses with all the qualification he will be asked the last question will be how old are you utaulizwa uko miaka mingapi wewe and then when he said his age the form is taken to the uko nyuma they are looking for below 40 wanatafuta wale wako chini ya miaka 40 so greet your neighbor kwa hivyo msalimie jirani and tell them you are blessed if you are below 40 umebarikiwa kama wewe uko miaka 40 usimuulize miaka yake usimuulize lakini mwambie you are blessed if you are below 40 umebarikiwa kama uko 40 na kurudi so i was just conversing with this friend sawa naongea na huyu rafiki and i shared my problem nikamueleza shida yangu let me tell you nikwambie God has an answer for you. Mungu akonajibu yako. The person carrying your miracle is with you. Mtu wa babaye mchiza wako wako hapo. We needed 12 million. Tulikuwa tunahitaji milioni 12. Na mimi sijaziona. Mhm. Na kuna wengine hapa mko nazo. Mhm. Si usalimie jirani yako. Greet your neighbor. I say. You, <laughs> you know. Unajua ukishalimia mtu When you greet somebody Uwezi jua vile uzito wake You may not know how loaded they are Na kuna mikono umesalimia na ni nzito And there is a hand that you have greeted that is heavy So we shared Tukaongea Mujiza ni huu This is the miracle Hayuko Kenya huyo jamaa He is not even in Kenya Tuliongea tu We just spoke kwake kukiwa mchana kwetu kukiwa usiku jioni nilikuwa nakunywa kachai ka jioni it was night and here it was around evening time kuongea tu naye akanitumia kitu inaitwa promissory note hiyo unaijua just talking to him he sent a promissory note kuniambia hizo pesa atanipatia to say that that man, hiyo mimi if you sign kwa niaba ya kanisa i will give you the money on behalf of the church Nilipoamka when i woke up nikaenda mazishi mahali fulani niliporudi jioni nika when, sign when i came back in the evening i signed the following day nikapiga muhuri wa wakili and then i rubber stamped it nikamtumia and i sent it it to was him. all happening this week ni wiki tu hii mambo ilifanyika wiki hii this week that day on napigiwa na manager wake alhamisi akapikiwa na manager nikapikiwa na manager na ni ndugu sisi tunaongea kikamba kwa sababu yeye ni wa Kitui ni rafiki yangu ni manager wa huyo jamaa is a brother from Kitui is a manager of the, this guy akaniuliza obo wako akaniambia uko wapi nikamwambia ni muzeo ha ni ngona mwini sawa eh hey, kama mwili uko sawa akaniambia saa hii ni saa tatu. and he said it is now 3 3 saa tatu ya asubuhi oh, am nimekuwekea pesa kwa hiyo account yako ya kanisa i have loaded the money in the church account million 12 12 <laughs> 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 mimi sijakopeshwa it is not a debt ah ah nimekope, mimi sijakopeshwa nikienda kukopa sikopeshagwi oh <laughs> Yeah when he goes to look for money is not uh, given as a debt. Lakini kwa sababu tumekuwa tukiomba siku 21. But because we have been praying for 21 days. Na wengine hamjui vile tuliambia Mungu. And you don't know what we told God. Unajua sisi tunapo tulipoona maandamano haikufanyika vizuri Wednesday na Thursday na Friday ambao tulikuwa tukija kuomba tulijua kuna maombi Millicent aliongoza hapa. There was a prayer that Pastor Millicent akasema advisors and he said how my advisors wale advisors haya mm. labda wengine mlitoka hapa mmesema sasa my advisor huyo millicent anajua my advisor maybe you were asking i don't have to know them see waitaji kuwajua because i'm not telling them i'm telling god simwambii yeye anaambia mungu 
Why I am so excited today to speak the someone that I'm bringing to you is because I know there is a God. I know there is a God in heaven. He will never give you a dream so that he can embarrass you. Abana. He doesn't aibu ndogo ndogo hakuna kwake. He doesn't have those small shame. He is going to deliver us. Yeye atatukomboa. Kwa hivyo nyinyi watu wa shule basi mbili. Kwa hivyo two buses. Amen. Tupigie Mungu makofi. Na na, na nzuki ukimuona hata anaweza kukutumia picha za hizo mbasi zimeanza kujengwa zinaisha. Mm. Amen. Tutazilipa kashi kwao. We Sasa ukilipa cash. mtu kashi atasemaje kukuhusu wewe? How will that person think about you? What will you say? Ni tajiri. Sasa tukiitwa ni matajiri museme amen. When we are called rich you say Wacha amen. kuambia mlikopa. Kwani mm, don't say you you took it as a debt. Ati mtu ati ukibarikiwa barikika. When you are blessed accept to be blessed. Ati mmepata basi mpya. Have you got any Eh lakini we wacha kuongeza lakini. Hiyo mm. tumepata basi mpya. We Tena got a new bus. Two of them. I love this God. Napenda huyu Mungu. There are few things that I have learned about this God. Kuna mambo kadhaa nimeyojifunza. And especially when it comes to giving. Na ikihusiana na kutoa. That when I give, it is a release from me. When I hold it, I become like the dead sea. But when I release it, I become the beautiful Jordan River. Which releases clean. It has vision it. But on the dead sea, there is nothing there of life. You can even float on that water. But when I release, it brings relief to me. When I give, it gives me joy. Have you gone with your children in the car? And there are some people begging. And they open the window. And they pick some of your change. And they give them. And then the guy being given smiles back to your child. And your child looks at you with a smile. It is so infectious. The child gave only 10 shillings or 20. The guy got so happy. Your child is so happy because when you give it brings joy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is no way I will give and I will become sad. Now the passage that we read. Paul had a difficult relations with Corinthian church. His relationship with them was sometimes good, sometimes bad, sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes he's rebuking them. Sometimes he's correcting them. There were people that needed correction. Whether it is in marriage, whether it is in honor, whether it is even even tribal conflicts even sin those were the people he was trying to deal with and we read in this particular episode this particular letter even though they were critical to the apostle because he had promised he would come back to them in person but he had not They were even suspicious, suspicious of his motives. They were even thinking maybe the ministry of the money that were being collected were personal. You know sometimes you become so suspicious. You, you know makanisa inaitwa makanisa bishop akisimama ni pesa. Pesa anafikiria zinaokotwa wapi? You know that kind of a language. People uh, being suspicious. But in this church, there is no money that goes with the bishop. Me I get my allowance. And it is enough. Then I do many side hustles. 
We account everything. Whatever you give, we account for. That's for another day. Now, Paul, they are suspicious. And we need to understand the background. There is an offering that they were preparing. They were preparing for about two years. Putting money together. Gathering every week. And these were the churches in Asia Minor. The churches in Macedonia. They were gathering those to bring together. So that they can go and help the church in Jerusalem. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They want to do it for another. This was not theirs. They were thinking of their brothers. They wanted to help them. But I want you to know they had some cultural problems. Although they were brothers and sisters, the guys in Asia Minor and the ones in Macedonia were Gentiles. They, they were Gentiles. Gentiles. And they, they, they did not do the things that the Jews were doing. Because they were Gentiles. They were not being circumcised. They had no problem with kosher or eating food. The food laws did not bother them. And therefore, they could have been suspicion between the Macedonian church and the Jerusalem church. But Paul is trying to encourage them so that he can bridge the tension between the Jerusalem church of the largely converted Jews and the churches in Corinth and in the larger Gentile churches. Because the Gentiles were coming to, to faith. Blessed be the name of the, of the Lord. And poor things. This would be powerful thing. That support, uh, pop, uh, maybe he could uh, kill several birds with one stone. That if he takes this offering from the Gentiles church to the church in Jerusalem, it will restore unity and a sense of vision and togetherness of the gospel. Now, that is the background. These Corinthians, they are being asked to give of their means to support a work of the gospel. To support people that likely they will never see among the people that likely they will never come across to. Just like I'm asking you. We help a church in Mirema. Maybe some of you will never go there. The school that we are building there and the swimming pool that we are putting there. Some of you are even afraid of Maji Akarai Dombili. So you might never enter there. But you are blessing somebody Else who can go there and swim. You are blessing somebody else who can have children there. Because some of you will not have children. Because you have already gone beyond bearing children. But your children, children can make use of that place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So my giving, I'm giving and planting seed for generation. And that is what Paul is trying to think. Can we give and help the Jerusalem church? We might not never see them. But somebody else will come and enjoy them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now therefore, as we raise the funds for the campuses, the Gomba campus, where some of us might never go, 
the Kiukenda campus where some of us may never go even the Ruiru campus which some of you might never go the super highway which some of you will never go we are planting a seed so that this seed can grow and grow and become rich I want to pick three principles that Paul is trying to bring to us here in the passage that we have read going back to verse number number 8 I want to read verse 8 and verse number 9. I'm not commanding you but I want to test the sincerity of your love by comparing it with the earnestness of others. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that you through his poverty you become rich three motives or three aspects or three principles that Paul addresses on this particular issue of giving it was for Corinthians church and I want to believe it is for us in Zimmerman. He starts by giving an example. The first thing, he gives them an example of giving. It is important. An example of giving. He starts with verse number one. Verse number one ends with the word Macedonia. Macedonia is not Corinthians. It is not Corinth. Macedonia is north. Macedonia is a small town somewhere. And it had many churches in Macedonia. It was like a region. Very small churches. That's what Paul is trying to tell the Corinth. You need to understand. And you can look at your geography map later. But all what you need is that when we are talking about uh, uh, Macedonia, we are not talking about Corinth. It is north. Macedonia is north. So what is he telling the Corinthians? He is telling them, I want to tell you a report that I have personally received from Titus about the giving in Macedonia. The giving in Macedonia was incredible. You would not believe how these Macedonian Christians have given for the cause of advancement of the gospel for the church in Jerusalem. You understand what Paul is actually trying to do? He's trying to tell the Corinthians are you going to tell are you going to let these people how to do you will you allow these people to outdo you you know I was listening of uh, Alice was sharing with me of a particular church in the city here and um, it's amazing Every cell is raising 7 million. If as I thought, is it possible? Is it possible? Now, now what happens is that we still all go around and say, when we have tried very much, when when we have really tried. I never responded to her as I picked it in my heart and I said, oh, that is a challenge to us. And all what they want to do is to build their own church. 
So Paul is remind that was reminding me that even us here we can do it as we compare with others because if God can bless them he can bless us also he is comparing Corinthians with the Macedonians and the Corinthians were more but they were they, they were not givers. Macedonians were small and they were more than, than givers. So Paul is asking the Corinthians, do you really want these, to see these Macedonian Christians become better than us? Of course not. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But you see, the motivation is like to bring some envy. Of what God has done. And how excited the people are. You listen to some of the prayer group. The, the ladies prayer group. Uh -huh. How excited they are. Oh, you hear how the, uh, the various groups are excited. It's a challenge to your group. And a challenge to yourself. The other Sunday we talked about the school board. The giving of the school board. Hey, you are in that board. I saw your name there. Man, we, we, we are moving. And I'm in that board too. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The excitement. What will he excite you? And I'm telling you, there are cells that have picked it up. And they are moving places. So Paul is telling them that these people, they begged us. They pleaded with us. Macedonia was not being asked. Macedonia was not they were the ones who were asking, by the way, to Meskia Kunashida, Jerusalem. Uh -huh. We have heard there is a problem in Jerusalem. We want to give. I called someone. Let me give you another testimony. On Tuesday, I was challenged by Alice and my daughter. They asked me, how many guest are you going to have? I said 20. I was asked their names. I said <laughs> we will get the names. I didn't know so when I woke up on Wednesday, I had kept Uvivu behind. Do you know they were, they chochered me. I called one person and sent a notice. A member of this church who was a member here a long time ago. Long. Do you know what he told me? Bishop, you have invited me at the right time. I don't want to wait for Sunday. My gift is here. Fifty. Nikatumiwa fifty. Watch our water. Watch our I hope someone is going to be encouraged by that. There is someone that is waiting for your call. There is someone who is waiting for your call. I invited people on that way. Because I stopped laziness. 
mwambie jirani yako tu hilo neno lilikuwa la bishop lakini hata wewe linaweza kukufaa mm-hmm. wacha uvivu stop laziness so they were saying please please we want to give wakasema tunataka kutoa we have so tested the grace of god Dume- we, we want the opportunity to give. May God give us and release that spirit among us. That we will desire to give. So that if they ask you in your cell group you give. If there are men meeting out there after the meeting you give them. If you meet the ladies and they are meeting in your house and you are the husband of your wife and they have come to visit your wife and they are talking broko you add into their broko you keep on giving wherever you find it if you find the young people and they are talking broko you get in and you say broko you add something it is not the how much it is the spirit macedonian had the spirit they had the example to challenge corinthians may god help pass. Kanisa litajengwa na akina nani? Mm. Who will build the church? Me I told you one time kuna muzungu ali, ali urafiki wetu uliisha. There's a white person whose our friendship ended. He came here. Kaja hapa. And the church was not as beautiful as this one. I wish now he can come. Alikuwa hivi vile liliko na natamani angekuja tena. It is when Tyrannus was not done. Tyrannus hata haikuwa imeisha. So it was a veranda huko juu. Ilikuwa tu veranda. So we were with him up there. I was showing him the school. So we went up there. He was so impressed. Tukaona akafurahia sana. So he is asking me when we are there. Akaniuliza which mission board supports you? Ni missionary wa missionary wa gani wanakusaidia? Who are these Americans? Wa America wa gani wanakusaidia? Or Canadians? Ama wa Canadians. Or British people? Or Australians? Wa Australia. After I finished. Maliza. I t- I showed him where they are. Nikamuonyesha wa Look at those Americans getting into the church now and coming out. Those Canadians. Those hawa wa Canada hawa. Akaona ni watu weusi wanatoka. Na kuingia I'm telling you our friendship ended there. Urafiki ukakatiwa pale. But I would rather it ends. Lakini afadhali ikatike because our people gave. Kwa sababu watu wetu walitoa. And we I wish he comes now. Sasa angekuja. Then he might disappear kabisa. Naweza ingia lo, rocket aende kwa mwezi. The point I'm saying is that you and I are the ones. Ya kwamba wewe na mimi sisi ndio Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This group of people. What to how? If you read at verse number 3, if you can put verse number 3 to us again. Verse number 3. For I bear witness that according to their ability. Yes. In other words, you know sema wachi hapo kidogo. In other words, you know sema these people gave according to their ability. Hawa watu walitoa kulingana na uwezo wao. Period. Ha. But Paul Let's continues see. to say Let's and see. beyond Nakasema their Nakasema ability yeah, period if you want Weke pia then Paul nukana. says and finally na pia nasema free kwa kutoa kwa uhuru wao kwa kutaka it is free ni kwa kutaka kibao shirini with a smile kiona tabasamu 50 sini with a smile kiona tabasamu 100 mia with a smile kiona tabasamu 500 ya tano with a smile kiona tabasamu wacha kuikunja hivi mm. ifanye hivi you, you know we, tunakosaka baraka sana we miss the blessing because we don't want people to see kwa sababu hatutaki watu waone but god has already seen lakini mungu ameiona kwa hivyo wewe unaogopa huyu Uyu. Na hata wengine kabisa kabisa. And even others. Can I tell you the truth? Nikwambia ukweli. Wengine hata hawakuonagi. Others even don't see you. Jana nilikuwa mahali watu waligombana kidogo. I was somewhere where people were quarreling. Kwa sababu alisalimia watu watatu. Mm-hmm. Akakosa kusalimia waine. He did not greet the fourth person. Huyo waine tuliposimama kunywa chai akasema kwa nini huku nisalimia? Aha, the other one asked why. Nikaona hapa kuna vita. Hebu niwaamue kwa sababu ni watu ya rika yangu. The people of, of, of my Nikawaambia sisi tuko na kakompyuta. We, we have a computer. Hako ka computer. This computer. Kanaweza ona watatu. Can see three people. Kakifika kwa Frida. Uh-huh. 
na wamekaa na bwana yake Moses hakaoni Moses ka computer kwa hivyo unafika pale unaona umemaliza dunia hiyo sasa nika, nikaambia walio kuwa wakipigana tafadhali tafadhali ka computer kangu kama kanafanya kama ka huyu mzee kanaweza salimia huyu kasalimie yule kakose kuona huyu kaone yule hata kafike pale kawe na blackout computer is shut wakawachana but it was true lakini ilikuwa ukweli that other man told me after ule mwingine aliniambia for sure bishop i never saw them askofu ati alikuwa number 4 eh wa number huku muona hata nikamwambia ni hiyo computer it's that computer so i will not fear anybody because maybe their computer is also not functioning sio kwa mtu sababu computer yao haifanyi i will give it to the lord and i give with a smile Oh church I pray that we will get delivered from the feelings of people. Nataka tukombolewe kanisa kutoka kwa hisia za watu. Na siku moja tukitoa sadaka tuibebe. Hivi. Amen. Carry the offering. Na usiangalie mtu. And don't look at somebody. Nikafinje. Lakini ni yako. But it is yours. Na hakuna mtu amekusukuma. And no one is pushing. Unaenda naye ukisimaira. Na hata ukiweza kucheza unaimba. And you dance if you want to dance. Alafu unaitoa vizuri. Hata utasumbua watu wa kuhesabu wakijaribu kuikunjua na kuipasua. Leo kuna zingine unakunjaga mpaka ikipasuri ukiona kuna ile inapasuka. But these people were willing. What were they gave according to their ability. Kulingana na uwezo wao. Some gave more than their ability. And others gave more freely. Oh my prayers this church will give according to our ability. And those that are able they will give above their ability. And those that are able they will give even freely. Another aspect of giving. So in other words, for you. I think Paul is trying to say this. And it is not a law. He's not saying this is the law of mendes and passions. That you must always give beyond your means. No. This is not the principle. But the principle of the Macedonia if you want to borrow it they gave according to their ability they gave beyond their means they gave in faith they gave trusting the lord they gave generously proportionally, proportionally sacrificially until they felt it blessed be the name of the lord amen that is a good example hiyo ni mfano mwema because if if you if you if you feel you are forced kama unaona kama unasukumwa hata hiyo 50 ukitoa hata ile 50 utaenda ukipiga kelele 50 utaenda ukipiga kelele kule 50 utaenda ukilalamika muangalie bishop muangalie bishop hata 50 bishop amehureka na hata 50 kofu anaitisha 50 yani utaenda u wewe mwenyewe ukijifunga so you will go complaining wewe mwenyewe unaenda ukijifunga and, and tying yourself na ungeenda ukisema mimi nili support bishop instead of you you actually enda ukisema hivi mimi ni support bishop na 50 i supported bishop with 50 na ninasikia raha kwa nitamsupport jumapili ingine kwanza na 100 i will support with 100 because whatever you are releasing kwa sababu uatiliacho becomes a seed in god's hand inakuwa mbegu katika mkono wa mungu and it will bring a blessing to you na inaleta baraka kwako The second principle that Paul is bringing. It is called grace based giving. Yani kutoa kwa neema. You know by now. Sasa 50 shillings. Sini it, it, it was just a wonderful idea. Ilikuwa tu jambo la kufikiri. That we all give 50. Ya kwamba sote tutoe 50. The block is 5000 but we just give 50. Block ni 5000 lakini tutoe. In in all our services. Katika ibada zetu. And You might think about it. And some of us are giving more because when you give 200 you don't want change you give 100 you don't want change whatever you give you don't want change. Not because you have but because you believe in what God is going to do. 
So what about generosity and sacrificial giving at this point? Na ile kujitolea kutoa kwa kujitolea. It simply means as I give. Inapotoa and by the way I was thinking about 50 the other day. Nikawa nadhania kuhusu shilingi 50. Ni pesa nyingi sana. It's a lot of money. It all depends on who has it. Ni nani ako nayo? So don't belittle it. Kwa hivyo usikaweze kuidharau. Usihodhie. Usikaichukulie kwa mzaa ama hivi hivi. Ukipatia mama 50. Ukipea, when you give 50 shares. Anaweza patia lunch watoto wake. She can give lunch to the children. Wanaume ukimpatia hiyo hiyo acha usipatie. When you give a man wanaume msipewe mtaenda kukunywa chai pale na niwe peke yako mama ataichorea a woman a mother will will plan for that money so it all depends kwa hivyo ina ina so as you give because it is from you some of us are sacrificing wengine unatoa ukijiachilia the point is we give and we feel it yani unatoa uhisi umetoa because you are giving what you have kwa sababu unatoa kile ulicho nacho blessed be the name of the lord na labwa nalibarikiwe so paul is introducing the motive of giving paulo anatoa aha it is very kutoa. important for us to understand the motive of christian giving kwa nini kama mkristo unatoa verse number 9 tells us ya tisa inatuambia blessed be the name of the lord for you know the grace Kwa sababu wajua you neema. know the grace neema. the grace neema. you know the grace of our lord jesus neema christ yesu that Christo. though he was rich yet for your sake kwa he yenyu. became poor so that you by his poverty kwa ya might become rich Mutajirike. paul is introducing the gospel Aha, he introduces Jesus yesu in our giving because there is grace Kwa in giving. Na, ne, and God must release grace upon us. And maybe that's why I'm speaking to you. That God will release grace of giving. That we will give because God has graced us. Jesus became poor. Grace took him on the cross. So by his poverty, we might become rich. Grace based motive for giving. So Paul is saying, let me, let me tell you about giving and what actually giving looks like. He was rich. Now talking about the Lord Jesus. He was rich. He was in his father's presence. Enjoying communion. And the fellowship. And rapport. With the father. That goes beyond our understanding. And ability to relate. He was rich. He had all power. He had all authority. But grace caused him to forsake it all. He denied himself all that. He veiled all that. He became incarnate. And you know this is what I think John is saying in John 3.16. When he said God so loved the world. The, this kind of the world. The fallen world. The corrupt world. The sinful world. The broken world. The rebellious world. He loved it. That grace caused him to love it and for him to come and down the cross for us. The son of God, the savior of sinners, there was no room for him in the inn. Where he was born, there was no room. He was born outside in a cold house. He was born where they kept cattle. There was a smell of the dung all around. That is where he was born. He was rich. He became poor. The birds of the air have nests. The foxes have holes. But the son of man. 
has nowhere to lay his head. He loved me. Grace. 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 We are going to receive the grace of giving so that we can give like our Lord Jesus Christ gave. We will not hold back. If it can save someone, blessed be the name of the Lord. He has no home as he is born. Number two, he becomes a refugee. He is fleeing to Egypt. Oh my goodness. Grace. Grace. Even at the cross, he says, my God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Grace. What I'm saying about grace, if the Lord can release grace upon you, and it becomes the grace of giving, I'm telling you, next Sunday, we will give. And we will give. And I'm telling you, we will give. Come and become a witness as we give. Because the grace is going to come upon us. He takes the curse so we might receive the blessing. He was rich, but for our sake he became poor. He identified with us. He took our place. He became our substitute. He became our sin bearer. He took the wrath that sin deserves upon himself that we might made right. Now that is the motivation. He was rich. But for us, he became poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are rich in material goods. We are also rich in grace. We are also rich in the gospel. Because we are sons of of God. May the Lord release a grace of giving into our spirit. Because you have received mercy. May you show that mercy. Because you have received wealth. May we release the same wealth. In the name of Jesus. Thirdly, Paul is saying, demonstrate the grace now. Through giving. The third place here. Yes, the last verse. Paul says, you know. Let me show you an example. Let me show you an example of giving. He mentioned those northern Macedonian churches. And he said, let them not outdo you. Then he shows us the motivation of giving. The grace on our Lord Jesus Christ. And then he says, look at the exhortation. Give Prove. Demonstrate you are giving. Demonstrate your grace in your giving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, if you say you love me, you have to give something. It is not love until you give it away. We love the Lord Jesus Christ and we want to give our lives to him. We love his work. We, not, we need to prove by giving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So this is what Paul is telling the men there. If you prove it, we will boast with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The church gave here and I was priding myself where Tyrannus was. I lost a friend. Contact Kabisa. America we lost contact. But, but, but I wish he can just come. Or even I wish he could be viewing the YouTube. God is still doing great things. And I'm so excited. But God has given me another opportunity. Just to give. Just to give. You know, the test that is coming to us is this. Do I love the Lord Jesus? 
And I hear a lot of us say in the spirit, yes. I love the Lord Jesus. Of course, some of you are asking, Bishop, you know I love him. I serve the Lord with you. I know, but I still want to ask, do you love the Lord Jesus? How much do you love the Lord Jesus? And some of you are saying, Bishop, you know, I was here by 5.30, you know. And I say, I know it, but I will still ask, how much do you love the Lord Jesus? So that I can give you this. If we love him, let's demonstrate we love him by giving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you know, we give from our resources. We give from what we believe God is going to give us. We give according to our abilities. And if, when, if that can sink, you will not worry. Because you give from your ability. Do you know why we get embarrassed? Do you know why we kunja kunja? Because already we know. We are not giving according to our ability. Hmm? Hata wale wanatoa akibeti. Unajua kuna wengine wanatoa akibeti ya naesabu ya naesabu ya natoa kabesimama straight. From the Kibeti. I end you. Mimi si jaweza kuziweka kwa Kibeti. But let me tell you. And please help me preach to your neighbor. Tell them, you know why you get embarrassed? Is because you don't give according to your ability. Can you help me? We set every one of us free. Tufungwane. Tuekane huru. Mwambie bishop anasema kutoka leo. From today. Give according to your ability. Toa kulingana na uwezo wako. Na utalala na amani. Na utasonga hapa na amani. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo Jumapili tukikutana pale, on Sunday when we meet, nitajua wale watakuwa embarrassed. Nita, we will na nitajua wale ambao they are giving according to their ability. Wale wanatoa kulingana na uwezo wao. Tell your neighbor neighbor. Jirani mwambie. Na usihepe church next Sunday. Don't miss Bishop church on Sunday. Bishop atakuwa pale. A scoffer will be there. And I will be checking on you. Na nitakuwa nikikuangalia. So this is what giving is all about. We have an example. Secondly, the grace. And thirdly, we are called to demonstrate it. That which we say we love the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you, Do you love him? Do you want to serve him? I want to pray for all of us, including myself. Because on that day, I, want, I don't want to be embarrassed. I want to give according to my ability. Please join me to give according to our ability. Because when we give according to our ability, God will double it. God will triple it. There are things that God is going to do that are going to amaze you. And when we go there on Sunday, go to the future, the school. You know this, the school. The school is there. The school is there. Go to the school there. And just see how the school will look like. And then go priding yourself. Hata mimi. Even me. I was part of this. Na kama nakuuliza ni ngapi don't be embarrassed. Kama unajua ni ngapi ulitoa sema. 200. 2000. 10000. 
Because as you confess, God is going to multiply. Oh, I wish, I wish this church can become church. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. But we become serious Christians. That because God knows what I gave, even if I told you, what are you going to do? Utadu. So, twende pale tuseme hii church. Kanisa hili. Kwanza useme hii rangi ninaona nilishare kwa hii rangi. Ah, hii rangi ni maritadi sana hata ninaona niliweka elfu zangu kadhaa. Sema. Say. Because after that tell your neighbor this. Neighbor. Chirani. After that. Baada ya ile. We will be moving again to another project. Tutakuwa tunaenda kwa mradi mwingine. Hatulali. Tunatoka pale tukisema hiyo broko zingine tuambiwe ni ngapi? Tuanze kujitayarisha. Hatutakuwa surprised tena. We will not be surprised again. We will be ready. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hebu tusimame. Tuimbe pambio ambayo ni nzuri sana. Let's rise up on our feet and uh, ni wimbo. Ni wimbo. Ni him. Alafu tutaomba. Na hata and mimi nitajiombea. Even me I will pray for myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inasema pass me not. O oh, gentle bide, savior. Mungu mwokozi wangu. And then I'll pray. Alafu nitaomba. Kwa Kiswahili unasema niongoze. Lakini tutaimba kwa Kiingereza. Tutaimba kwa Kizungu ama Kiingereza. Pass me not, O oh, gentle savior. Hear my humble
Paulisi what Paul is saying. Paulo anasema the Macedonian Christians. Wa kanisa la Macedonia. They give themselves fast to the Lord. Tolea kwanza kwa Mungu. They give themselves fast to the Lord. Kwanza walijipeana kwa Mungu. He said it is like passing a comment. Ni kama yani kuandika jambo. But he is digging inside the issue. Lakini anaingia ndani ya mambo. And the issue is. Na mambo ni jambo. Are you actually giving yourself to the Lord? Je, unajipeana kwa Mungu? Is he everything? Yeye ni kila kitu. Is he everything in my life? Ni kila kitu katika maisha yangu. If he is everything in my life. Ama ni kila kitu basi. Then I will give him everything that I have. Basi nitampatia kila kitu. Our precious heavenly Father. Baba wetu Mungu wa mbinguni. It has come again. Imefika tena. A moment that we had last year same time. Nafasi tuliyokuwa nayo mwaka jana wakati kama huu. We gave above. Tukaweza kutoa zaidi. What we had set ourselves to give. Ile ambayo tulikuwa tumesema tutatoa. And Father this time. Na Baba nafasi hii tena. We have a target. We want to give according to our ability. May it please you heavenly Father. To give beyond our ability. And Father may it please you please you some more. To give willingly. And I want to declare as the shepherd of your people. There is no condemnation to any one of us. Those that are willing to give we speak the spirit and the grace of giving those that are still waiting for the grace we pray that heavenly father the grace will catch up with us even as we continue doing what you have called us to do I know there are some of you listening to me and you are saying bishop I want to give but I have nothing to give. I'm looking for a job. Or I have lost a job. My business has gone down. And I'm praying for financial miracles. So that I can have for myself. For my family. And to give to the house of God. If that is you. I want you to lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. Maybe as I spoke you are feeling bishop you don't understand. But God does understand. Just put it up. Don't, don't shy. Just put it up. Let God see it. That you are saying Lord I want to give but I don't have I need a job so that I can have I need my business to wake up so that I can give I'm calling for financial miracles Heavenly Father from this altar the hands that are lifted Dear Father, first of all, I come to you and ask that God if every Sunday we have come to this altar, there are people that have misunderstood us. We ask of forgiveness because Father, all of us are your children and we have hands and you have said you bless the labors of our hands and brothers lifting up their hands. They are saying, Lord, try me. Try me. Try me with some opportunity. Prosper my hands. Give me an opportunity. Father, I pray that because of Shiloh, a place of breakthrough, we pray that this those that are lifting up their hands we want to speak the breakthrough to locate them in the name of Jesus that father they are going to be surprised by the surprises that come from the Lord may help come from Zion to them in the name of the Lord. Those that have business may prosper. Those that have done work elsewhere but they have not been paid. We speak the reckoning time is now and they will be repaid this week to the praise and to the glory of your DNA. 
we will come smiling all of us we will give our hearts first like the Macedonians because as we give our hearts you will give us the resources and we will give it according to our ability we give you thanks and we give you praise for we pray all this in Jesus name receive your miracle may God give you grace in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Thank you. Asante. Thank you worship team. Asante.